What's up guys? It's uh, Jaden Vanderbilt here, back at it with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, actually a lot different. It involves no bikes at all. It involves uh, this camera right here, film camera, and Tyler, which is in the background, sweeping up glass from the door mm -hmm. that just broke. So yeah, we're going to be doing a durability test of this Minolta. It's reversed, but... So yeah, this thing is, I've used it a couple times in photography class, and it's pretty beat up already because I dropped it a lot. But we're gonna see how far can this thing go with durability. If it, uh, it works too, I've got the battery, but yeah, let's do it. Suppose that you have the camera in your hand and you're just taking pictures of the fall. Oh, look at that, look at that. But then a robber takes your camera. Oh no! And he runs away with it, but he drops it. Oh, and then, then he throws it across the driveway. Oh, my camera! My camera! Oh, my, oh, oh. The camera's running away. Got my camera. Let's take a look at the damage. So here's the battery takes. We're gonna put it under here. Just right about, uh oh, battery doesn't fit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. <gasps> and it still works. So, test number two. Suppose that you're walking outside early morning for that nice, crisp, golden hour shot. And a bee all of a sudden flies and stings you in the arm. Oh! And then it stings you and then it flies over there. And then you go to pick it up and then check it out. And then another bee stings you in the other arm. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> so uh, as you can see, um, uh, the bee uh, really stung you and freaked you out. So you kind of broke your camera. Okay, so we just uh, snapped this piece back in. It, it's still pretty bad, you can tell. Um, but I turned it on. This sucker still works, look at this. Let's pop up in the back to see. The shutter is totally intact, the mirror and everything. So it's just the outside frame. Flash does not close at all, it's just jacked. So now, Time for test number three. Suppose that uh, you want to get a nice close-up shot of your friend playing football. Go along, Tyler. Oh no, he missed the catch. All right, let's take a look at the damage. So this is the only thing that fell off. That can just probably like pop back down. It turned into a uh, turned into like a. <laughs> oh shoot! Wait, where's oh, the chunk that. for that? Oh, I left the battery in oh, there. Oh, there's there's a chunk like right there. Yeah, there's like there's like chunks right here. So now you don't have to worry about that flappy so, back door. Pop that back on here. You know, <laughs> I mean your film is gonna always be exposed. Let's see if it still works. So this thing you don't need it anymore. And we're gonna take a look at the camera. We got the, the battery still in here, but the battery cover, it's still somehow in place. So we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try. Put that. There we go. Okay. And we're getting no response. <laughs> okay, let me try to squeeze this back. No way. No way. It's still going, close the shutter. We are recording and just don't need a grip anymore. Yeah, Good camera song. durability test. Now for test number four. Okay, so um, suppose that you want to play soccer with your friend, but you don't have a soccer ball. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Just um, some scrapes right up here. I actually just like came right off. Just a little bit of scrapes. We lost a piece of there. Well, we lost part of the, the battery cover. We lost that. Yeah. Oh, we already did. Let's see if there's any like scuffs from sliding. Um, that's pretty scuffed up. This is pretty scuffed up. This thing like popped out again. Yeah, let's start going back in. Wait. No, the shutter's not working. All the flash still fires. It still works. Oh, that's put pretty the flash cool. back down and not take pictures. Look. Oh wait, the flash actually kind of goes down now. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. Keep on, just spam it. Look at that, folks. Still working. Wow, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Now for our final test. So, suppose there's an annoying bird, squirrel, or some type of creature living in a tree. That one. And you don't have anything to get it out. Or kill it. Or mm -hmm. hit it. Or do something to it. And you, you know, you're just out in the woods taking pictures with your camera. What would happen if you used your camera to kill one of those creatures? Let's see. Stupid squirrels. Oh, oh. As you can see, we lost the whole battery latch, so it's gonna be hard to turn this thing back on. Good thing you didn't put the battery in there, it would've flew out. It would've, and it probably exploded on you. But, I don't see any other damages different no. from last time, except for the flash and this piece popping out. But, let's, let's see if it, it still on. works. Okay, so we don't have a battery latch, so we're just gonna slide the battery in there and hold it in. Still turns on. No okay. Way. Let's use the flash. Put it in M mode. And it still works. That's crazy. Listen to that, people. So you can still take pictures of your grandma. And, Let's yeah. pop up that flash. Oh, the the flash button is a little uh, squished in there. There you go, folks. Well, because of that, we have one more final test. So suppose that there's a nasty, ugly spider on the wall. And it's like scaring the crap out of you and your, your dad and mom, you know, and you just want to kill it, but you have nothing to kill it with. Just use your camera, you know what I mean? Just, just whip it at the wall. All right. Look at that, folks. Shutter has come out. And the top is opening up even more. But it looks pretty, pretty good, though. Not bad. Let's I see if it still works, Tyler. I have the battery in the room. Yeah, I did. I'll do that right now. <laughs> it says help. Look at it. It says help. <laughs> yep. So, this final test involves a little H2O. So, your camera's a little cold because of the cold weather. What you want to do is put it on hot. Now this is an easy way to warm up your camera whenever it's cold. Let's try it out. Wait for the water to warm up. You want to wait for that nice steam action. Okay, this is pretty quick. Let's go. Is it, is it starting to steam? Oh wait, no, it's not really that hot. All right. Now that your camera is pretty drenched in hot water, nice and uh, nice and soaked. We want to get a little rag, a dry rag. So now. Pop that bad boy in there. And yep, your camera is now toast. Thank you guys for liking this video and watching it. Well, if you did like it. Um, subscribe. Subscribe too. Check out the Minolta though. It would stand pretty much almost all of our tests, but I would understand why it failed this one because it's water. But yeah, I'll be posting a trick-or-treat video soon on the BMX bikes. And I'll see you guys in another episode.